Insta360 X3 versus GoPro Max, which is better? Here's a summary. They're both among the best 360 cameras, but in some cases, GoPro Max has better image quality. I also prefer to use GoPro Max in rugged shooting. However, for most people, Insta360 will be better. A lot better. In this video, I'm going to show you why. Now, no one paid me to do this video, but Insta360 did send me the X3 to review it, and I bought the GoPro Max myself. I also have affiliate links for both X3 and Max, but my Max affiliate links are useless because it's cheaper to buy a Max directly from GoPro. So I understand if you don't believe my conclusion, but you don't have to take my word for it. I'm going to show you side-by-side -side sample videos so you can decide for yourself. I'm also going to make sample videos available for download so you can compare them yourself. Let's get started. The first test is stabilization. I wrote down these steps on my electric unicycle. Without stabilization, you can see that the camera shakes a lot. Now let's see how the Max and X3 stabilization perform on this challenging test. And they both perform flawlessly. So I'd say their stabilization performance is a tie. Now you might have noticed that the Max had a completely level background, whereas on the X3, the video tilts up and down to keep me in the middle. We're going to talk about that difference later on their workflow. By the way, this artifact that you see here is from the dual camera bracket that I was using. You're not going to see it in ordinary use. Now let's compare video quality. To test video quality, I put the cameras on a tripod and took a video of some text, making sure to match the height of the camera's lenses. Without looking closely, the X3 looks sharper, but actually, the text on the GoPro Max is easier to read, which means it actually has more detail. Uh, the fact is that most people don't shoot with the 360 camera like this. Instead, most people shoot with the 360 camera on a selfie stick like this. So we should also compare their image quality when they're held this way with a third person view. Let's check it out. So here's the GoPro Max. You can see that it's much less detailed than it is in the middle of the lens. Now here's the Insta360 X3. The difference is shocking. But is this difference noticeable in the real world? Let's find out. Here are the Max and the X3 side by side. I graded the Max to match the contrast of the X3. Now if you don't look closely, they look pretty similar. But soon, you notice that the X3 looks sharper. And it's not an illusion. The X3 really does have significantly more detail when both are used with a selfie stick to capture a third person view. Now before you go and jump and get the X3, check out the strange results when I compared them in low light. Here are the Max and the X3 in low light, both of them in auto mode. They look very different, but when I grade the footage, they look much more similar, except for one thing. With colored lights, the Max has a lot of noise. So I tried using manual exposure to force both cameras to use the same ISO and same shutter speed. Again, they look similar, except that the Max gets a lot of noise around colored lights. So for low light, I prefer the X3 for two reasons. First, it looks better to me even without grading. And second, it's better at capturing colored light. How about you? Which one do you prefer in low light? Let me know in the comments. Now let's compare the Max and the X3 for slow motion. Both the Max and X3 have 60fps, 360 video modes. For the Max, it's at 3K, 60fps. For the X3, it's 4K, 60fps. The X3's 60 FPS mode is far more detailed. So for slow motion, the winner is the X3. So, convinced so far? Well, there's more. This time, let's compare them for dynamic range. Now in standard video mode, Max and X3 have similar dynamic range. But the X3 has another mode called Active HDR. Now it's not just a fancy tone curve with lifted shadows. No, it actually uses some of its subpixels to capture a darker exposure, resulting in a much wider highlight range. Now that sounds too good to be true, so let me show you. Here's a sunny day with very wide dynamic range. Let's see how the Max and X3's Active HDR compare. I paused the video in this scene with very demanding dynamic range, and you can see how the grass is totally blown out on the Max. But the X3 captured the full range of highlights and shadows. 
Now here's another scene where the grass and skies are blown on the max but are well exposed within the X3. Now I, I want you to pay special attention to the grass. You see that? That's motion blur indicating a slow shutter speed. But you also get the brightest highlights of the scene and I swear I didn't use an ND filter on the X3. This is proof that the X3's active HDR uses two different exposures at the same time and isn't just lifting the shadows. Now you might be wondering, maybe you get better dynamic range with active HDR but are you giving up something else like maybe detail? Here you can see the massive difference in highlight range but what about detail? Well it turns out that active HDR is more detailed as well. Now I thought it could be just sharpening so I did another comparison, this time with GoPro Max sharpening set to high. However, once again X3's HDR video mode was more detailed. On the other hand, GoPro Max has better details in deep shadows. Next and compare the stitching performance. Both the Max and the X3 were able to stitch as close as a foot and a half away. But the X3 has smoother stitching at the nadir, which is noticeable when you're using them on a selfie stick. Now both Max and X3 also have single lens non-360 modes. On paper, the X3 single lens mode has higher resolution. But Max's single lens mode actually has slightly better detail than the X3's 4K mode. Now interestingly enough, at 60 FPS, X3's single lens mode is sharper than Max. But Max has 360 degree horizon leveling for any single lens mode resolution and at any frame rate, all with no stitching needed. Now X3 can also use 360 degree horizon leveling in single lens mode, but it has to use something called FOV plus mode which is less detailed and has to be exported. So for single lens mode, it's a clear win for the GoPro Max. But X3 has two other 180 degree modes for which Max has no equivalent. Now, so far we've been talking about image quality, but for most people, there's something that's gonna make an even bigger difference, and that's ease of use. You gotta check this out. All right, here's one of the clips you saw earlier. I shot this in the GoPro Max. To make it non 360, I have to reposition the video and add keyframes every time the angle changes. Now here I fast forwarded it, but you can see that it's not hard, but it does take some time. All right, here's the exact same scene shot on the Insta360 X3. I click on this button here that says Deep Track. I drag a square around the subject, check this box, and click on Start Tracking. That's it. I can leave it alone and go grab a snack or watch a football game. Even though the subject looks nothing like the original and keeps changing angles, the AI is smart enough to keep track of it regardless of background and light conditions. Now let's compare the manual keyframing with Insta360's deep track. Not only is Insta360's keyframing smoother, but it also keeps the subject in the middle. So easy! I swipe the screen to the left. Tap single lens, swipe the screen to the left again, tap on me mode. And I can choose the aspect ratio here if I want portrait or landscape. And I can choose the frame rate up to 60 FPS. And I can choose the projection, whether linear or max view. Now let's say I want a keyframe, then I press this button, switch to 360 mode. Now I'm 360 mode. I want to switch back to single lens mode with me mode. I just press this button and I'm back to me mode. Now just use a selfie stick and start recording. The video will be stabilized and will have 360 horizon leveling. Now me mode is limited to 1080p but as you can see the level of detail is similar to a reframed 5.7k 360 video and I can shoot it up to 1080p 60fps which looks like a reframed 5.7K 60fps 360 video. During post processing, just select all your Mi mode videos and hit export. You're done! No keyframing or tracking needed. Now a while ago I said that Insta360 X3 has two modes for which Max has no equivalent. Now the other one is a slow motion Mi mode. 
Now how do you use slow motion in meme mode? And I'm sure you're also wondering other questions such as How do you change the subject so that it's not always in the middle? If you want to find out, check out this video. Before you go, just a couple quick notes about the X3 and the Max. The Max has better built-in microphone, but the X3 has an invisible wireless microphone option. And in terms of durability, they're both waterproof. They both have optional protective lenses. But the Max's protective lenses are more convenient to use because they're clip-on. I also prefer GoPro's product replacement plan. So which one do you prefer? X3 or Max? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in 360.